Today I will show you how to install Arduino IDE on your computer and how to set it up for ESP8266 modules. It is a must to have it installed for our next project. Also, I will show you some of these settings and finally we will upload a simple sketch. Let's get started. So firstly, I will open up my browser and go to www.arduino.cc Agree and proceed. Of course, we can uh, just uh, search on Google Arduino ID download and should be the first link. We go to software, downloads and here we choose from uh, the distribution of uh, operating system we have. I have Windows, so I will choose Windows. Feel free to contribute if you want to this free software. Amazing free software. I'll click on just download for the moment. And while it's downloading, I will um, sing for you. Um, call center song. <laughs> Enjoying the moment? Your call is important to us. Okay. Perfect. Now we have it download. Double click on it. Yes. I agree. You can leave it all checked. Next. Install. While it's installing, let me present you my channel indoor technology feel free to subscribe if you like this kind of content iot smart house 3d printing and cnc machine also some programming will be involved here yep Okay, so as easy as that, we have installed Arduino IDE. Now we double click on the icon and we should have a window, you should have a window like this with a blank template. Now, under the tools, boards, we can see that we have already Arduino boards here. And uh, we need the also the ESP8266 boards. So we go to Boards Manager and search for ESP8266. And we cannot find anything because we need to add an additional board. So to add an additional board, we go to File, Preferences, and right here on URL. So let me search for that URL, ASP8266 board manager link. Okay, and should be the first uh, GitHub link. And here it is, the URL. We just copy from here and put it here. Click OK and now if we go to Boards Manager and search for ESP8266, we can install it. Checking, verifying, downloading. Okay. 
perfect and the installation is complete click on close and now if we go again to boards we can see that we have additional boards all of them are based on ESP8266 module the generic one and uh, in our projects we will use a lot the Wemos D1 mini module also the node MCU and we will see if uh, some other ones in the future all right now let's uh, let's upload a sketch so for that firstly we need to choose the board I will plug in one of my Wemos boards Wemos D1 mini so click on that okay and now we should choose the port I didn't plug it in yet let me plug it in okay so as soon as you inserted your module you should see some of the ports available it can be COM1, COM2 mine at this point is COM4 so I choose it now and the at the bottom of the window I can see exactly that I have chosen the Wemos D1 Mini and it's on COM4. To upload the sketch, firstly let's choose one from predefined template. And I will choose a blink sketch which will make my Wemos D1 Mini LED to blink with a delay of about 3 seconds. Now with everything in place, click on upload and wait for a bit. The code will compile and upload. Upload. And perfect, it's uploaded. After a successful message, you should see the LED blinking. Alright, I hope you've learned something useful today. And if you're interested in this kind of content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. It will give me positive feedback so I know I need to make more content like this. Have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye!